I just got done watching the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie, seeing an 80-year-old Leatherface running around town, jumping out of water like a fish, lifting people up out of the air. What are my thoughts? Let's talk about this new movie that's on Netflix right now. The wet one back here again for another movie review for you guys today. I just got done uh, watching the 2022 sequel to the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie that came out back in 1974 that was directed by Toby Hooper. And, uh, you know, it premiered on Netflix tonight. Uh, right here. Kind of happy that I'll be able to watch it, not have to run out to the theater and everything like that, even though I prefer watching movies in the theater. Uh, but this is a review coming from a fan of horror movies, rocking my, uh, you know, brain scan t-shirt, trickster t-shirt right here. It was really kind of amped up uh, about this one, because we haven't got a new Texas Chainsaw movie uh, in a while. And to be 100% honest with you, the last handful of uh, films that came out Totally forgettable, don't really care uh, about them. Like there was a Leatherface movie that came out a handful of years ago that even just got a 4K release recently. Uh, of course, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the remake, and then the beginning. You know, I, I don't really care about those. The, the only two Texas Chainsaw, Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies that I care about, in my opinion, is the original Toby Hooper film that came out in 1974 and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 uh, that's also uh, directed by Toby Hooper with, you know, um, Dennis Hopper and, of course, Caroline Williams and stuff. Those are pretty much the only two that I really care about uh, in the franchise, but I still love horror movies, and I want to talk about this one right here. Uh, this new film uh, is, uh, you know, direct as a direct sequel to the original 1974 film, and it takes place, of course, in Texas, and it has these young, young group of people, young influencers, uh, going to this small town, uh, this little ghost town in Texas, uh, you know, they try to re revitalize this little, uh, you know, ghost town. They try to, you know, spruce it up, maybe, you know, sell some buildings, you know, you know, get it rocking and rolling again. But they come to find out that they're rolling in to Leatherface's territory. And they don't really know much about what really happened, except for what they see a little bit, like in a little gas station and stuff. And um, you come to find out uh, that Leatherface... 47 years, 50 years later, uh, is still roaming around Texas, and he's kind of staying. Okay, this movie, this this movie review is gonna be uh, spoilers. There's gonna be spoilers in this thing. Spoilers slash a little bit of ranting uh, going on in this movie. So if you don't like spoilers, uh, you guys can move on. But um, I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, I didn't hate this movie. I did not hate this movie. So just want to let you guys know. Now we're gonna move on to spoilers. Uh, but you come to find out that Leatherface, over the last, like, 40-something years, 50 years, has been living in, like, a home for boys uh, in this little, like, ghost town of Texas. And this old lady's, like, taking care of him and stuff. And there was other, there was other boys there throughout the years, but now it's just pretty much him and the old lady uh, that are staying at this house. And uh, these influencers come in, and, you know, they, you know, they pretty much own everything in this town, supposedly, or something like that. And uh, stir up some stuff, and pretty much the lady that's taking care of Leatherface uh, dies, and uh, pisses off Leatherface, and Leatherface goes on a killing spree for everyone that's in that town uh, right there, and that's pretty much the the synopsis of the movie. Um, to be honest with you, you don't really get enough of these characters, so you don't enough character development in this movie, which is okay because horror movies, how much development do you really need for movies like this? But, you know, for me, you didn't really care enough for about these characters, but it was kind of cool to see Leatherface running around, you know, like, killing people and stuff. But, you know, I know it's a horror movie, and some of it you have to, like, you know, um, uh, you know, just kind of, like, you know, let, let the fun happen. But you gotta know, if this is taking place, this movie, taking place, like, 40-something years, 50 years after the original film, and Leatherface is, like, 70, 80 years old... How is he doing some of the things that he's doing in this movie? You know, it's kind of like unbelievable. You know what I mean? Because he's not like Freddy or anything like that. Or Jason who's like, you know, turns zombified. So, you know, he's kind of like the, an, an undead. Because Leatherface is supposedly like a real human. Just going around killing people. And like, you know, wearing, you know, his, you know, people's faces as a, as a mask and things. But, um, 
I do I do like how uh, in this movie that when when his uh, caretaker or mother whoever whoever she is in this movie uh, dies he cuts off her face and puts it on his own so he's trying to like you know preserve his his mother's face on his own as he's going around killing these you know uh, unsuspecting teenagers or you know 20 somethings in this movie um, I thought the kills in this film were pretty solid uh, the, the, the movie was nicely paced, so it moved along nicely, it's like 84 minutes long, so you're not sitting there going, oh Christ, you know? Um, it, it, it moves along, the kills are brutal as hell, but I felt like I was, when I was watching this movie, because we get the character of Sally Hardesty, uh, who, you know, who played, who was, who, who was originally played by Marilyn Burns, uh, in the original film, who Sally passed away years ago, so it's a new actress playing, uh, Sally from the original film, the, the one victim that got away from Leatherface in 1974. So, this movie kind of sort of felt like Halloween 2018, with, you know, Sally Hardesty trying to be like, you know, Jamie Lee Curtis, all badass life with a gun, and like, I'm gonna come and get you, motherfucking Leatherface. You know, it's kind of like... It's kind of like that's what Hollywood was trying to do with these horror movies, trying to make them more brutal, kind of fast-paced, and trying to make the old-school characters that were in the original films kind of come back and, you know, just try to kick ass and take names. I don't know if I'm loving this, this, this new thing, this new trend that's going on or, or not. I don't think I hate it. I think it's be, I think it's uh, pulled off a lot better in the Halloween 2018 with Jamie Lee Curtis a lot more just because I think Jamie Lee Curtis is just a little bit more iconic uh, than Sally Hardesty's character uh, from the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and but the character didn't really do much. You know, the character of Sally Hardesty kind of comes in to help out for a little bit, but it's kind of some of the stuff that happens to her character from Leatherface. It's kind of unbelievable, like what happens to her. You know, if you watch, if you, when you see the movie, what happens, to, you know, to the, the, the original character uh, in this movie. And then, like, co she comes back to try to save the day. I'm like, how are you still alive? How are you still breathing? You know? But sorry, my review's kind of all over the place. But there is an amazing, amazing scene uh, that happens that's kind of stupid, but amazing at the same time. Only stupid because in these horror movies these days... You know, people are like, oh my god, they're so smart, they're using technology now. So, like, you know, all these people are on this bus. On this bus in this small town because they were told to go in there because something bad's happening. And, of course, Leatherface, you know, uh, comes out, gets on the bus, and, you know, massacres the shit out of everyone on this bus, which I think is super dope. Right like, killing everybody on the bus, chopping off heads, you know, legs, you know, all this kind of stuff. But, like, right when he gets on the bus, you, of course you get the obligatory, you know, people going... Hey, if you do anything to us, you're going to get canceled. We're live right now. We're live. Like, come on. It's like, if people, if people are watching these movies, or watching this movie, or movies like this, that are going, man, that's some smart writing, man. They're using technology. Yeah. Who gives you shit? To me, I, I didn't really care for that. You know what I mean? I'm like, look, yeah, you're live. You're going to get canceled. It's Leatherface, bitch. He's going to kill your ass. You know, but like, you know, I, maybe I find that humor kind of just whatever now because they kind of, you know, use that kind of shit these days. But I did think the kills were cool on that bus. And um, like I said, you don't really care about any of the characters in this movie. But it is cool to see another face again on screen uh, after all these years. Because I, I forgot how long it's been since the last, like, sequel, the last time we, we saw uh, Le the Leatherface character. I think it's been a while. And it was kind of refreshing and cool uh, to see him back again. Um, people were, I think, I think people were pointing out, like, his mask and stuff from, like, the trailer. And the movie itself, it, it seemed fine to me. It seemed fine to me. Uh, but I, I, I like this movie. But then, like I said, there's elements of it that were just kind of, like, unbelievable. Like, when you see, um, you know, an 80-year-old man, an 80-year-old Leatherface, like, jumping out of a vat of water like he's, like, some sort of fish. And, like, lifting, you know, as he, as he kills somebody with a chainsaw, and, like, lifting them straight up into the air. Like, how does an old man like that have the strength to even do that and hold that shit up? You know what I mean? Because he's supposed to be, like, a, you know, like a human person, you know? But, uh, I don't know. <laughs> you have to dis dis dispend disbelief in movies like this, and I know that. But, um, all in all, I thought this movie was fun. You know what I mean? For the kind of movie that it is. You know, they don't try to, like, jam you know, down the throat with, like, you know, political messages. Uh, and, at least in my opinion. I, I, I thought it moved along nicely. The kills were cool and brutal. Just like how these, uh, you know, movies are these days. They try to get the audiences in. Ooh, it's brutal. It's awesome. You know? But uh, I liked it. 
But there's elements of it that just made me go, how is an 80 year old man doing this? And like, what, what was really the point of having the character of Sally Hard Hardesty back? I mean, it's cool, I guess, but like, she didn't really serve a big purpose, in my opinion, uh, in this movie. I wish they had more to do with her character. And my friends uh, over at DeadPit.com uh, thought the actress that played uh, Sally Hardesty in this new movie kind of looked like Mick Garris, the director of like the original Stand and of course like the creator of the um, Masters of Horror and stuff. And watching this movie, I was kind of getting that vibe, like looking at the actor actress uh, playing Sal Sally in this movie. She does kind of look like... You know, uh, Mick Garris a little bit with the hair and everything. I thought that was kind of kind of a, a funny thing. But uh, let me know down below. What did you guys think about this new uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie? Did you like it? Did you not like it? I, I, I enjoyed it. I'm going to give this one uh, a 7 out of 10 on, on, the, on the horror scale uh, right here. Like I said, I'm a horror fan. I love the horror films. And I even have my original DVD that came out signed by Toby Hooper, the original director of the film, of the original movie. Marilyn Burns, the original Sally, and Gunnar Hansen, the original Leatherface, uh, right here when I met them at conventions over the years and things like that. The, all Sally, all those actors have passed away. But uh, I enjoyed this movie. Hopefully you guys did too. Sound off in the comments. Let me know what you guys thought. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Ta-ta.